Dead Alice Valuations are delighted to welcome you to an audio recording of our article, Andy Warhol, celebrating his birthday on the 6th of August, by Jonathan Horridge, modern and contemporary art specialist at Dead Alice Valuations. Andy Warhol, born Andrew Warhola, that's W-A-R-H-O-L-A, was born on August the 6th, 1928 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, to Slovakian immigrant parents. Andy was the fourth of five children. His father worked as a construction worker, his mother was a homemaker, and they lived in a working-class neighborhood of Pittsburgh. Andy was dogged by illness as a youngster, and at the age of eight he contracted a rare and severe illness called Sydenham's Korea. This left him bedridden for several months during which time his mother helped fill his days by giving him drawing lessons, which ignited his passion for art. Andy attended Shenley High School in Pittsburgh, where he demonstrated his early artistic talent and where he was recognized and encouraged in these abilities. After graduating in 1945, he went on to study at the Carnegie Institute of Technology, now the Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. After completing his studies in 1949, Andy moved to New York City, where he began his career as a commercial artist and illustrator. He worked for magazines, advertising agencies and retail stores, quickly gaining recognition for his unique and imaginative art style. By the late 1950s, he had started experimenting with fine art and had begun producing paintings, drawings and prints. He found his inspiration in everyday objects and popular culture leading him to create many of the works that would become iconic representations of the pop art movement and synonymous with Andy Warhol. In the 1960s, he established his now famous studio space called The Factory. It was a hub for creative collaborations, attracting artists, musicians, writers and celebrities, and it rapidly became a centre for the avant-garde in New York City. Warhol's fascination with celebrity culture led him to create portraits of many famous personalities including Marilyn Monroe, Elvis Presley, and Elizabeth Taylor. Andy's creativity extended way beyond painting and drawing, and he ventured into film, creating the experimental movies Chelsea Girls, 1966, and Empire, from 1964, a slow-motion film of the Empire State Building. Andy Warhol was well known for his contributions to the pop art movement, and his choice of subjects for his art was heavily influenced not only by celebrity and popular culture, but also brand names, crime, and for some reason, car crashes. Some of his most famous paintings include the following. Campbell's Soup Cans from 1961, a series of 32 paintings, each depicting a different variety of Campbell's Soup Cans. Marilyn Diptych, a silkscreen painting of Marilyn Monroe featuring multiple images of her face, all in different colors. And Mao from 1972, a series of portraits of Chairman Mao Zedong, the leader of the Chinese Communist Party. And then Brillo Boxes from 1964, a series of artworks inspired by Brillo soap pad boxes, part of Warhol's exploration of consumer products as art. The market for Andy Warhol's work has existed from day one, and interest from buyers is truly international with his work being sold across the world, where it's both a highlight and a mainstay of all the major and minor auction houses and galleries across the world. His major works continue to change hands for multi-million pound sums, and the three most expensive Warhol works sold at auction to date are as follows. Shot Sage Marilyn from 1964, which sold in May 2022 for £137,654,100. White Disaster Car Crash Series from 1963 sold in November 2022 for £62,218,460. And the third spot is held by another car crash, silver car crash, this time double disaster from 1963, sold in November 2013 for £58,975,999. Behind the scenes, Andy Warhol is just as fascinating. Here are a few little-known facts about him. Time capsules. Andy was an avid collector and archivist. He had a fascination with preserving everyday items and created what he called time capsules. These were cardboard boxes in which he stored various objects like newspapers, correspondence, photographs, art supplies and random items from his daily life. 
Over the years, he filled over 600 of these time capsules, which provide a unique insight into his life and the culture of the time. Religious Devotion Despite his flamboyant and controversial public persona, Warhol was a devout Byzantine Catholic. He attended church regularly and his religious beliefs played a significant role in his life. He even commissioned religious-themed artworks, including several portraits of Jesus. Warhol was an enthusiastic art collector, and he had his own extensive collection of art, including works by fellow contemporary artists and art pieces from various periods and styles. After his death, Sotheby's Auction House held a nine-day auction in 1988, where they sold off more than 10,000 items from Warhol's personal collection. This fetched tens of millions of dollars. Underground Filmmaker As mentioned earlier in this piece, Warhol is well known for his contributions to the visual arts, and he was also a pioneer in underground filmmaking. In the 1960s, he produced a series of experimental films that challenged traditional cinematic conventions. One of his most famous films is Sleep, from 1963, which depicts his friend John Giorno sleeping for over five hours. Warhol's films often explored themes of monotony, voyeurism, and the passage of time. Wig-wearing icon Andy Warhol's signature silver-white wig became an essential part of his public image. He began wearing wigs in the 1960s to create a distinctive look, and it quickly became one of his trademarks. The wig allowed him to transform his appearance and present himself as an enigmatic figure in the art world and popular culture. Cookbook author in 1959, Warhol and his friend Susie Frankfurt co-authored a quirky and amusing cookbook titled Wild Raspberries. The book, which was never intended to be a practical guide to cooking, featured illustrations and handwritten recipes for dishes like omelette Greta Garbo and piglet a la cubiste. The limited edition book is now a highly sought-after collector's item. These lesser-known facts highlight the diverse and eccentric aspects of Andy Warhol's life and artistic pursuits. His impact on various forms of art and culture continues to be influential and celebrated to this day. Throughout his life, Andy Warhol continued to push the boundaries of art, leaving us a lasting impact on the art world and popular culture. His early experiences and upbringing shaped his artistic style and many of the themes he explored in his work. Thank you for listening. You can read this article and many more at darevaluations.co.uk. Search for Dare Dallas to find us on Instagram and LinkedIn, where our team will keep you updated on market trends and our valuation service. For more details on our valuation service, please call us on 01883 722 736 or email inquiries at darevaluations.co.uk.